Om Shanti, welcome back. I am here with another blessing that is of today's, that is 6th of September's God's blessing, where Supreme Father wants us to be full of all the powers and be stable in any situation. So let's find out what kind of upheaval can we go through in our life and what kind of situations can come in our life and how to face them bit by bit. So Supreme Father says here, may you be full of all the powers and stable in any situation of upheaval by having one strength and one support. Now the upheavals in our life can be financial upheavals, can be physical health wise upheavals, can be mental and emotional upheavals that to with our own mental and emotional state and they can be relationship upheavals and they can be spiritual upheavals. Spiritual means that we feel lonely, we feel don't, don't feel connected to people so much that even if we have so much of wealth and everything and health we still feel that we don't have enough of love in our life or happiness in our life. So God says, souls who have one strength and one support, one strength and one support, that means the Supreme Creator, one strength and one support are constantly stable in a constant and stable stage. To have a constant and stable stage means to be constantly unshakable and not to fluctuate in any kind of situation, provided you have not done anything bad, right? So when you are true, when you are pure from inside, from within, then any kind of state, any kind of issues, any kind of problem which you face or come across can be faced with a lot of power, with a lot of courage, with a lot of discipline, with a lot of, a lot of happiness from within. But when we have done something wrong, then we have to be humble to face it. We have to be very, very straightforward to face it. So God says for that also you need the power, you need the strength. Supreme Father says to have a constant and stable stage means to be constantly unshakable and not to fluctuate. Souls who receive all the powers from the one Father, that is the one Creator, and remain full of all those powers can remain unshakable in any situation of upheaval. That means if I am dependent only on the Supreme Creator, if I am meditating on Him and I am receiving all the love and happiness and all the constant stable encouragement from the Supreme Creator and nobody else, I don't depend upon any human being for my self-worth, for my self-appraisal, for my self-esteem, then Facing any situation will be very easy, but if it's the opposite, then it's a tough thing. Then there will be many fluctuations, many whys and hows, and those fluctuations will take us into deep and deep thinking, which leads us to get into some form of depression, some form of negativity in our life. Now, Supreme Father says, souls who receive all the powers from the One Father and remain full of all the powers and remain unshakable in any situation of upheaval. To have a constant and stable stage means to have all your relationships with one and to experience the sweetness of all attainments. No other relationship can attract you. That means in a life we can have attraction to so many people and those attractions are not talking about generally physical attractions. I am talking about over here what Supreme Father says is Attraction means that you are dependent on somebody's words, somebody's comments for making you feel powerful, for making you feel up and going in your life and making you feel as if you are worth something in your life. But when you are not dependent upon these people or have any kind of attraction to these people or you are not dependent on their reaction towards you for you to feel happy for you to feel powerful, that's when you are powerful. Now this is a transition which takes time because to believe and to have faith in something whom we don't see through our eyes is a larger faith, is a larger decision. And that decision can only happen when you have experienced love, experienced happiness, experienced everything which you have desired in your life without having any physical need in this world. Now this is a transition which takes time and this transition takes place when you learn who you are, where you come from and you learn about the infinite being, the infinite self. Now the infinite self is not this physical thing which you are seeing in this camera, in this video. This is not the self which I am talking to you. The infinite being is the energy within, the infinite source, the infinite power within which is using this body just as an instrument to talk to you. 
and when you realize this not just say it but when you realize this be it feel it think it and work with it that's the time the power happens that's the time things change in your life how do you do that is what we learn in brahma kumaris in 150 countries the same thing can be learned by you and with this om shanti